Good morning, loved ones. How are you today? We're headed to work and school. And um kind of excited because today at work is our monthly staff meeting. However, in the month of November, we have um Thanksgiving meal together. Thanksgiving potluck meal. So I cook collard greens in the crock pot last night with some ham hock and I'm waiting to see what everyone else has brought some things are very delicious and you want more and some things are not so tasty we have a melting pot of uh, employees in the office so we have all different types of entrees from different uh, places they're trying to have a traditional thanksgiving meal but of course people are going to bring things that they normally eat in their culture so what are some things that you love to see on the table for thanksgiving dinner or holiday dinner any holiday so here's what i brought to the Thanksgiving potluck collard greens with ham hogs and I cook them in my crock pot I put this aluminum foil on there because it gets a little hotter and I needed it to be done by this morning and my crock pot you see has some miles on it it's all beat up I got it one year for Christmas maybe about six years ago but it still does the job it gets it done so we're waiting for everybody to come and they've already started setting up. Pastries and fruit and Jamaican punch. We got some greens and flowers and salad and covered dishes. Shut the front door. Thanksgiving is kind of one of my not so favorite holidays just because. Um, It's been like 10 years now that, maybe 11 years, that um, I spent Thanksgiving dinner with my mom. The last Thanksgiving we had was 2005. And she told me everything that she wanted to eat. And I made it for her, I prepared it for her. She sat at the dining room table and instructed me on what she wanted me to cook and tried to uh, tell me what to put in the pot however she really did enjoy her meal and um, it was the last Thanksgiving only because uh, in December of that year she ended up going to the hospital she had been experiencing some real bad headaches for a while um, some dizziness she had fallen a few times and they found out that she had a brain tumor in um, on the back side of her, her brain. And the doctor was really surprised that she was even able to walk because of the position of the tumor. And he said that it had to be growing there for about 10 years. And she would have checkups um, sometimes, but not like she should. Uh, she would go to the emergency room when the pain was unbearable and I would fuss with her about you know going to see a physician regularly getting different tests and exams done but my mom was pretty stubborn and she did what she wanted to do so she had the surgery to remove the tumor late December and um, she came out of the surgery she was doing okay of course they had to give her a feeding tube and um, she was on a respirator which we knew before surgery certain things she would be on for a while and she wasn't going to be able to talk to us because of the drake and um, so she was doing okay she would make hand gestures she would write on a dry erase board that i purchased for her to communicate and she was doing okay for about a week and all of a sudden 
uh, one day I went home and they told her, I said, well, mom, I have to go and pick up Taylor. I'll be back after I, you know, get her situated. And she did her hand like that to me, like, don't worry, don't worry. And so I didn't come back that, that evening. I was headed back the next morning and the physician called me and said that something happened with my mom. I needed to get there right away. So turns out that um, her brain totally stroked out about a week after the surgery and she passed away January 6 2006 so after that I stopped cooking for Thanksgiving um, I didn't want to relive that moment and I think you know sometimes we as human we put ourselves in those bad downtrodden spirits because we remember dates we remember times we remember events that don't make us feel so good and instead of moving through those events the next time they occur we <clears throat> we take a moment to cry or uh, sulk or um, just throw ourselves in these funks like I said before and um, it probably was about five years after her passing that I started to cook again on Thanksgiving. Now, I don't cook every Thanksgiving, but I do try to do different things because I've learned that you have to make new memories. Um, take the bad memories and wash them out with good memories or new memories. So, one Thanksgiving, because I'm a single person, a single mom and uh, I used to say that I really don't have that much family so one Thanksgiving I invited people over my house to have dinner with me but it was a special Thanksgiving dinner these people were people who didn't really have any relatives in the area or they may were single so that kind of worked out for me and that was the first time that I cooked Thanksgiving dinner after my mom had passed. It was about five years after my mom had passed. Um, I do have family that I didn't really grow up with, but they're about an hour away from where I live. Um, sometimes I will go eat Thanksgiving dinner with them, but we all know that families can be crazy. So there's always something that transpires and it jumps off at Thanksgiving dinner. So I said, you know what? I quit. I'm not going to have Thanksgiving dinner with my family. Um, and I started doing some different things. I uh, started doing things with people at church or some friends. So I may get on the road and, and go to a theme park around Thanksgiving time or go feed somebody uh, that's hungry or feed the homeless or something like that to make new memories. So, yeah, that's the word for today. Um, for every bad experience in your life, I would encourage you to replace that bad experience with uh, a new experience, a new memory. Um, even don't look at it as a mistake. Don't look at it as why this, why did this happen? Whoa, it's me. Look at it with a different mindset, a positive mindset. Remember that every day we have the power to make that day better than the day before. We have the power to make that day a great day. So we can focus on the negatives. We can focus on who's not there. We can focus on many different things. But if you think about it positively, change your way of thinking you can begin to move forward from that bad memory that bad thing that bad thought that bad event so i hope that you guys are already thinking about what you're going to eat for thanksgiving who you're going to spend thanksgiving with where you're going if not if you don't have a plan Make a plan. Start planning it today. Start planning it right now. For Thanksgiving this year, we're going to have Thanksgiving dinner with
Brightus family. His grandmother has invited us over and they have a large family. We've gone there uh, one Thanksgiving before. So they want me to cook dressing. Now I don't necessarily eat dressing, but I do love to make it. My grandmother, my mom's mom, taught me to make uh, dressing uh, probably when I was about 10 years old. And uh, grandma would call me in the kitchen with her and she have me cutting the bell peppers and the onions and the celery and I hated it. Trust me, I hated it. The onions would have me crying. My eyes would be burning. So one year, I put the onions, the bell peppers in the blender and my grandmother was so upset and she said, why did you do that? I told you to chop it up finally. I said, grandma, every year this stuff burns my eyes so i put it all in the blender and look at it it's perfect it's all chopped up fine just the way you like it i'm pretty sure she was very upset with me but it got the job done and the dressing still tastes the same what are your favorite um thanksgiving memories and what are you thankful for i am thankful for life i am thankful for health i am thankful for my strength i'm thankful for my family my children friends i'm even thankful for those people that uh despitefully use me those people that talk about me the naysayers in my life i am very grateful for them for the simple fact because of them i am stronger so share your your thankful thoughts with me share your thanksgiving uh meal ideas with me share your plans your thanksgiving plans with me and are you going shopping on black friday i don't shop on black friday but i'll be at work the friday after thanksgiving i normally go to a musical concert i'm not sure if they're gonna have it this year i hope so but if not i still plan uh to enjoy my thanksgiving and i hope you do too so be encouraged today in all things give thanks Yes, even in the bad times, the bad situations, the bad memories, give thanks. Because it's those sour moments that make us sweeter. You have a wonderful day. Love you, loved ones. Be blessed.